Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. I hope you guys are having a um, okay week with our country going up in flames, <laughs> quite honestly. Oh my gosh, I have been glued to the news. And then I'm like, okay, I gotta cut myself off and I gotta just, you know, and now I'm giving myself like little like, okay, don't turn on the news until like you do X, Y, and Z. And then, um, and then I'm just like this, like, oh my God, I can't even believe what's happening. And yet I could totally believe what's happening. I mean, really. Okay, that's not why I came on to talk with you guys today. What I wanted to talk to you guys about was, is, um, hi, Galen, fifth grade. That's how we remember each other. That's always how I remember you. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you about creating the life that you love and creating the life that you want, okay? And so I absolutely love the power of manifestation. But here's the deal. Like you can't just be like, I want to manifest something and I want to like dream about it. And then it's going to like magically appear in my life. Um, that is not how manifestation works. Okay. It is about dreaming it and imagining it and really like being in your subconscious and feeling and experiencing everything that you imagine and dream of. And then it's about making a plan and then taking action. Okay. That is the key piece. I think, and if you guys know the person, cause I'm always butchering, um, sayings and all that kind of stuff, but I think it was Einstein. It might not have been, but the saying is success is 1% inspiration, aka imagination, and 99% perspiration. So if anybody knows who actually said that, like drop it below because I think it's Einstein and I could be 100% wrong on that. So the 99% perspiration is making that action plan, okay? And so here are some tried and true concepts that I have used for years. And one of them is a vision board, okay? And so I used to poo-poo the vision board like nobody's business, like, mur, mur, okay, whatever, we're gonna put some shit up on a thing and then it's gonna magically come true, right? But this again goes into the, um, into the subconscious and so, now I really love them and I do them like every year and I still actually have to do this year's, but this is like a creative, intuitive dream. And so get creative, get some magazines, get uh, like a bulletin board or like poster board or some people even have vision board books that they just open up and they actually keep them as their like daily, like their annual planner. So it's always there. And the key is to like the, and just put it up everywhere. Like I have mine, I mean, I could move this whole thing so you could see it, but like then that might just knock everything out. But like, trust me, it's right, it's right over there. Um, and so the key is to see it all the time. And so what happens is that you go about your day and you're in your conscious mind, which is that 10% of your mind, but what happens is your subconscious is basically like a sponge and it is taking in everything at all times, okay? And so your subconscious is taking in what it's seeing on the vision board or what it's seeing around you, okay? So it's that constant sponge. So if you have or you make a vision board and you put it someplace where you're always gonna see it, like your bathroom or your bedroom or if you have a home office or wherever, or even a mantra and like stick it up on a post-it note and just like have it. I have a mantra that comes up as a daily um, reminder on my phone. So, and what's happening is it's just, I'm going, oh, okay, there it is consciously, but it's also seeping into my subconscious, which is also like um, a computer um, program, right? And so it's just programming and taking everything in. So do any of you guys do vision boards? If so, drop it. 
in the drop it in the chats because I want to see. Um, and so the other thing that I wanted to talk with you guys is um, it's more of a concept and it's not something like that you actually do, but it's this this concept of rocks in a jar. Yes, yay, Galen, totally do it and then um, and then report back. I mean, just, you know, I mean, report back that you did it, not that everything on your board immediately comes true, but do it and it's so fun and it's creative and you'll love it. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about are rocks. Um, I had a feeling you were good at manifestation, Kristen. Not surprised to hear that. Um, and so well, the concept of rocks in a jar, um, I know I gotta get on mine. I really do. It's like January 11th, but. <laughs> Whatever, it'll happen when it happens. And I might even keep some stuff from last year on there because there's still some good stuff on there. Um, and so the rocks in a jar. <laughs> this is like, I get so scattered. So like Facebook Lives are really kind of sometimes super challenging. Like I want you guys to interact and then I get all distracted. Um, yeah, well, Galen, it needs to be Mason right now. I mean, and I've got a little altar with Jack right there, which is right in front of my vision board. Um, and so if that's what you have to do right now, that's what you have to do. Um, so it's all good. Um, rocks in a jar. <laughs> Why is she talking about rocks in a jar? Okay, so if you have a jar, right, and it's empty and you have rocks and you have pebbles and you have sand and you need to put all of those things into the jar okay so the 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 rocks the pebbles and the sand represent thank you jean <laughs> the rocks the pebbles and the sand the rocks represent all of like your super super important things that are in your life so like for me, it's like my kids, my husband, my soul care um, routine, and my um, and my business. Okay, and you know, yours could be your animals, yours could be nature, yours could be whatever. Right, whatever is super. Um, <laughs> and you know, what's so funny about rocks. Hi, here's the distractibility again. Um, Mia and Zoe were doing um, like crafts yesterday and then like Mia made these like they're I mean they're like cement plaster of Paris but I was like oh look they're like rocks right I could have shown you a visual but that would have gotten too messy so anyway the rocks are your super important stuff right your absolute most biggest priority and then you have your pebbles which are your like less and the the rocks are like you can't live without them like you're you're gonna just you, you just can't right and then your pebbles are things that are important but not as important as the rocks and while they are important you could also like live you could you know, like your house or your car, like, yes, very important. And if something happened to them, you're going to survive and you're going to go keep going, right? It's going to be hard, but you keep going, you know, and I mean, and your, and your rocks are obviously, you're going to be on the floor and then you're going to keep going step by step, right? I lost one of my rocks. So like you, you, you just, you have to be in the crumble and then keep going, right? Um, but your pebbles are like the not as important as your rocks, right? And then your sand is like everything else, right? All the small stuff that you think is maybe important, but it's really not, right? And so if you are filling your jar up with sand, you're not going to have any room for your pebbles and you're not going to have any room for your rocks, right? And so the, the key is to fill up the jar with your rocks first, okay? And then that way you're like, okay, this is, and you know, like symbolically the jar is you, right? And so you want to fill up your stuff with rocks and then pour the pebbles in, right? Then you take care of the pebble stuff and then you fill it up with the sand, right? And then that way you have your most important things and you're prioritizing, and so 
it's this is all about like time management and and prioritizing quite honestly right and so if you have a jar that's filled with sand and you're like doing everything for everybody and you're like oh yeah sure i'm gonna help you do this da 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 da, da. and then you're like I'm, com- I'm like depleted and exhausted and this sucks like that's when boundaries start to come in and you have to learn how to say no right and you have to just take a look at what your life like do you want your life i mean i'm gonna ask you guys this right now do you want your life filled up with sand like please please say no (laughs) or remove yourself from this group no i'm just kidding you know but like you have to start looking at your life as like rocks and pebbles and sands what's important i know there are a couple of people on here that are experiencing grief and right and and i know speaking for myself when when you experience a, a loss and a, and you experience a death all of a sudden it's like crystal clear what your fucking rocks are right like and all of a sudden like like all of a sudden all of that sand you have no time for the sand right and so like when you are going through a um you know, a major transformation and crisis and all those things, it gets super clear what your rocks are, what your pebbles are, and what your sand is. And so, a lot, and even you could write it out, like list it out. What are they if you, if you, if you have trouble coming up with what they are? And then you make those rocks the priority. So, I think I'm done talking about rocks and sand and pebbles right now. <laughs> But it is about time blocking. It is also about baby steps. You guys hear me talk about this at nauseum because when you are creating a new system, right? Because this is what it is. It takes discipline and and it can be super overwhelming, which is why the baby steps are so important, right? And this is also why resolutions don't work. You know, because people are like, I'm going to do 17 different things. And then they're like, oh, it's January 27th. Why is this not, why why am I back to my old broken system that no longer works? And so when you're starting something new and you're, you want to manifest it, just take one thing. Just, just one little thing in your life. And then you take the baby steps to achieve it. One small step every single day. That's it. And then by the end of the month or whatever, you'll be like, oh my God, I just like totally accomplished something. And so like, and again, the baby steps is to keep that fight, flight, freeze, and fawn responses at bay. Because the more that that fear stays down, the more like the 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 baby steps is to trick your amygdala, your fear center, into thinking that no change is happening because your amygdala is like, shit's going down. I'm getting chased by the saber toothed tiger. Everything is coming to a halt, right? And so, baby steps keeps you and your 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 adult wise self in charge and not the freaking nature amygdala that is freaking out about everything. Okay. That is all I wanted to share with you guys today. Take good care of yourselves. Bone up on your soul care because I know, like, this, what happened on Wednesday reminded me of being less than two miles from ground zero on September 11th. I was glued to the television and I was like, shit is going on outside of my apartment. And, but I was glued to it and I realized that I was in total freeze mode. And then, then I was getting overloaded and I was like, oh my God, that was me on Wednesday and probably Thursday as well. well." And then Friday I was like, okay, I can't do this. So now I do all of my, and I've been boning up on the soul care because our, 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 our country's gone and going fucking nuts out right now. And so, um, so bone up on that soul care, take good care of yourselves, minimize the news. And I'm speaking for myself and I did that this weekend. And, um, yeah. And then also just hold on to that little green sprout because there's lots of death and destruction happening right now. And with death, 
always comes rebirth and we have to hold that vision that we too are going to get there and we are and as hard as it is send love out there because those people need it and i hate to say those people but we all need it we all need love so keep sending that love out um to everyone and to yourself too Mwah. all right love you i will uh see you live next week bye